This is Hobie Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. And I'm at my house, Whitehall. And this is an old plantation house. Uh, been here since the 1850s in the form that you see it now. And one of the continual problems that we have are wild trees like this growing up solidly against the foundations. You can see that this is flat planar. That's because this one and his brother here were right up against that chimney. And so I've developed a method of extracting them, which is better than anything I've used before. Now I use my truck and I use a winch on my truck, which you'll see in a little bit. And the new technique I've found is if you have an old length of chain like this with a hook, what you do is you make four wraps around the trunk. Then you hook the chain together. Then you attach it to the hook on your winch and you can get it. Now if you don't do all of this, if you just put on one wrap, what's going to happen is it'll just strip the tree. It'll just pull straight out like this. But as I hope I can demonstrate on even a smaller sapling, that if you do these number of wraps, it'll work for you, and you can get these trees without digging out the whole foundation, which you do not want to do, of course. All right, we're going to hook up one and let you see a pull. Well, this is my Ford Ranger, and this is a winch I have on it. I have other videos showing me using it. Now, this outfit is reversible. That is, I have cables and controls, so I can actually mount it on the rear of the truck if I need it. Now, there is one thing I did not tell you. Besides the four wraps, you also put an overhand knot in your chain, and then you link the hook in the chain so that when you tighten, the whole mess contricts tighter and tighter around the trunk, and that way you can pull a small tree. So we're going to get the pull started here. You want to make sure you take up the slack with your hand when you start. Okay. Now we've got it started to pull on the tree, and I'm going to change the camera angle so you can see it come out of the ground. You can now see the results that we've achieved and why these trees are so hard to get because they're actually bigger down here in the roots than they are in the trunk. You can see the overhand knot and you can also see how I hooked it up. So this now goes on my burn pile and we had it going good this morning before this little drippy rain started and we had a pile of stuff that was about seven feet tall and it's now burning down pretty good and this light drizzle, yeah, it'll keep the ashes down and as well as make the fire safe. So this is an excellent day to be doing this kind of activity. But now, this is Hovey Smith, reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time!